Uh, praise God. Greetings to you all. It is my pleasure to be in your midst and to be sharing with us. I also appreciate our lead pastor who has given us this platform and privilege and a committee of care we care. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. And my name is Mrs. Ngozi Eguzoro. I'm a pastor, a businesswoman, a CEO of Royal Destiny Services. Praise God. Amen. Now, we have heard from the first speaker. He defined what is business. Where money is hiding? Where money is hiding? Is that a question? And when we talk about where money is hiding, we are talking about business. Remove N-E-S-S. -S. The remaining part is busy. You need to be busy. You need to be doing something. Amen. Therefore, this hour or this time, I want you to look at your hand. Watch your hands. Can you look to your hands? And the Bible told us in Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10, I will just read that. It said, whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might, for there is no work or device, or knowledge, or wisdom in the grave where you are going. Meaning that it is now you are a living soul that is used to, you have to make use of your hand to work. Amen. Amen. And you make, you make money out of business. You do. You need to work and earn good money. And as you are doing it, everything will fall in line. I want to tell you that it is not too late and it's not too early for you to engage in business or to find something doing. Amen. In as much as such a thing is legal, it's not something that they will be chasing you up and down. And what is business? In addition to what the first speaker said, business is a distribution of products or services in exchange for money. Either you have something you are producing or service you are rendering in order to get what? Money. Business is all about, as we have heard yesterday, it's all about solving problems. You need to locate a problem to solve. That leads me to a friend of mine. When they relocated to Nigeria, she is not a Nigeria by birth, but my, by marriage. Because of her color and the weather of Nigeria, it was not too conducive for her. And she started to research. And God, finally, she got a product from foreign country. And she began to use it. And she found out that it is good for her. And from that, she equally solve other people's product, uh, problems. And today, she's earning big money. Not only that, she have um, received a award and also training so many people in a quarter shopping complex. So locate a problem to solve in order to do what? Earn money. How to start? Discover yourself and know what is your passion. And what is passion? Is that thing you derive joy in doing? You can be sleeping. Anytime they call you upon you, you are there. It will not grudge because it is part of you. So you have to locate it. Consider what to provide. Is it a service or a product? So look into, look inward what you can deliver or what you can do. Also, what type of service or product you really want to provide? You must scan the environment. You must know where you are going to put all your business. There are business that cannot thrive in some certain environment. So scan the area 
area you, you are going to put on your business is very, very important. Also, you have to consider your target market. Are you going to render a service or product to the young youth, women, men, the children? So consider it first. Or your product or your service is going to be for all. Just like we care. Club is for everybody. Now you may be saying, I don't have money to start up anything. But I have what? An idea. Yes, it's very good. And it is truth. And it is well said. You don't have money. But I can assure you, it's not money that you're going to use to start. I want to back it up with Acts chapter 1, verse 8. I'm not going to read it. We know it. But Jesus instructed the disciples. He said they should start from where? The Jerusalem, before they will reach other side of the earth. So, how many of us here does have mouth? How many of us in this room that has a mouth? Everybody. Everybody. Now, you have to use your mouth first. Begin to talk to people what you can offer, what you can do. When you begin to talk to people, there must be some set of people that will be interested. You are not using money now. Your first capital is what? Your mouth. And as you do so, thank God for uh, our phones. You have contacts. Then you have to look out for some names. Write them down. It can be 10. It can be 20 people in your contact or in your network. Call them. Tell them what you are going to do or what the idea coming up in your mind. You don't have money for now. But reach out to people. Tell them. People may be interested in that particular product or your service. And as they do so, before you start up to get those products to deliver, you would have gone to somebody who is in that field, who is already have business existing in that of your own choice of business you want to do. Go there and talk to the person. Relate with that person. How can he or she assist you? Today we call evil boys. When you step into Lagos market, some of them they don't have shop. When you go and say, are you going to Mantlas? Do you want this? Do you want that? They will take you there. And when they will take you there, they will leave you with the owner of the shop. And at the end, they will come back to do what? Collect their own commission. They still don't have what? Shop. But they are making good money. So you can start up like that. When you tell people what you offer or what your product is, you now go there and collect such goods or product and deliver it. The person might pay you completely or initial payment and at the end of the day you return the money back to the owner of the goods and take your own fracture and when you start doing it on and on on and on it can take you months or year just for you to pull resources together and even as you pull that resources together it is not an ideal for you to start up a shop because that money is not still yet enough for you to paint, uh, pay rent. Talk less of bringing much goods to your store. So think about that. They say your network is your net worth. You need people. You need people. People matters in business. I want to tell you, in 2017, I have my shop. But I have, um, by the leader of the Holy Spirit, I was able to go to Ogun State 
I was not driving. I have to enter public motor by 4 a.m. I enter motor room. I do not know anybody. I don't speak Yoruba, but I'm with God. Before 8 o'clock, I'm done. I will come back to my shop. I will not begin to call people on phone. I'm, I'm here now. Where do I meet with you? The person will tell me, either in the house or anywhere, I will deliver that goods. And I get my money. And at the end of the day, the first venture, I made 30K less than two hours because all the product has gone. I still go back to my shop. See that as if nothing happened. You can do it. Amen. 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 So there are so many things we can do before. Money hides in people. You got to manage people and relate with them. Always remember, relationship is everything. When you have a business to do, you have to relate with people. And you must be transparent. Integrity is the key. Don't do business because you want to defraud somebody. They will give you an initial payment. And you run away with the money. Remember, the person will not chase you. The person will not come after you. Better than I up there. As they say, it says, that is God. Who. Amen. Amen. So watch out. Keep your integrity. Be transparent when you collect people's money to do business. Amen. Amen. Also, since you don't have money, we have said it before, you don't need to have money before you start business. When you you get people interested in what you have. You collect money and deliver to them. Keep your profit. The business has started. Amen. Praise God. Also, when you deliver the first set of your product, you collected your money, you don't have to stop at that number of customers you have. You have to do what? Get new customers added to the existing one. And whenever you deliver your product, please check on your customers whether they still need more of your product or your services. You call on them on phone or you can equally visit them. Praise God. Now we are going to have you knowing all these things. There are some business you need to start doing. I want to mention some of them. So please ponder over it. If it is in line with your passion, engage in it. And God will use it to bless us. Amen. I hope we are with me. Now, agriculture. We have poetry. Even though today is Saturday, tomorrow is Easter. Had it been this program has been before now, I would have encouraged us in order during the season, Easter, Christmas, people eat a lot of chicken. Is that not? It's for poultry. Also, you can raise it in your compound if you're living in your own personal, your father's house or a place where is, there is vacant area for you to set up something. You can rear chicken there. And at the end of the day, you have egg, you have chicken to do what? To sell. Another one is that position yourself to value chain. My, our coordinator have said it. You may not start to finish. Some people or some company can start. The poultry person have their poultry. You can go there and pick what? Egg. And some people can have that grace. You get the chicken, you, you clean it up, and you deliver. The poultry does not belong to you. But we call it what? Value chain. You have to do something, another person do another one, then the final consumer. 
that is poultry, agriculture. Also, we know time seasonal cells like Christmas. We have Christmas tree. We have all those things, decorations. You can buy them and sell them. So you have to find out what goes on per season and leverage on it and make money. Children clothing. Those that rear pig. Piggy is also another business that is also moving here in Nigeria. Snail farming. It don't need much space. It's just for you to look out a place where it is conducive for snail to, to be, where it's not hot. Snail only lead watermelon, water leaf, and purple leaf. That is what you need. So think about that. Vegetable. You can have a, a, a vacant plot. You can go there and plant some pumpkin or any other vegetable and harvest it and sell it. You can call people, buyer to come to your farm if you have that opportunity. Fruit market. You will see this road, a bare expressway. You see some malams there. They are selling fruits and they are making it. So you can venture in, package raw food, grind the busi and obono. Tie your friends. Crayfish, grind it, tie your friends. This is what you have. And they will buy. Also, I've talked about egg distribution. You can do that. Ice block, you have fridge in the house. You can make use of it. Package water and put it there. Tell people to come and buy. You can sell mineral even in your house. Event business. Today we see some people as an usher in event centers. You can see some people as guard. You have to, maybe you are not, you, you have access to some event centers where you can render such services. You can get some group of ladies or men that is capable to do this kind of business. And negotiate with those people. They will pay you, then you pay those ones you have already contracted. That is business. Outdoor catering and indoor catering. You may not have a restaurant. Like I am from Owere. We have offer, offer Owere, which is very, very expensive. In case you need it, call on me and I will charge you some money. Amen. So you can do that. You can cook your own native food. You can teach your own dialect to people. That is money. You can do a babysitter if you are a, a woman. So, also, you can start a crutch even from your sitting room. You also can look out for schools and get photocopier machines to do photocopying things for students. That is also a way of making it. Or you join with somebody who has machine already. You can get people. And through that, you are making your own fracture. Beauty fashion. Just as I said, my friend was looking out for a solution to her own problem. From there, she solved her own. And now she's equally serving other people. We have salon. You can do that. You can plate from your house, do home service. That is money too. You can leverage Facebook and Instagram. It's not only to post our beautiful pictures. You can do that and post. Go to a good studio and get the picture of your product and push it in there. And God will use it also to bless us. Another one is that clothing. You can be such a person. You have this uh, grace of combining colors. But you are not a tailor. But you can make color combinations.
combination. For some people who doesn't know how to combine clothes, and they have an occasion. If you are such a person, you can be able to tell that person, this and this is what you need to put on for such an occasion. It's not every occasion that you use the same color. So it is a business too. And you are making your money. It can be get a tie. In those days when I have my fashion house, I do tie gele, but it's a long time ago. You can tie gele and collect 1,000. Some people are collecting even 1,500. I tied gele last Saturday for a function. I spent 3,500 naira with gele and little, little thing that I did. So you can do it and make your money. You can fry plantain, plantain chips, and give it to your friends. They will buy it. Amen. Amen. So I did Zobo too. And I sold a lot of it. I did Adire. And I sold them. So you have to learn one thing or the other. Office cleaning. Our, our first uh, speaker said laundry. So you can wash clothes for people and take money. You can go to a company and have someone that clean my company and we pay her at the end of the month. And it's not only us. He does it all the days, different compound. And she's making her money. She's not educated, but she has money. And she's training her children through it. So you can also do it. Soap making. I also make soap, liquid soap. I make um, toilet cleansing, cleanser. I made all those things. What I'm using in my house, I didn't buy it. My toilet to wash, I did it by myself. So all those things, you can also put up a car wash. And all these things are money making. I hope you are catching up some things you can do on your own. So all these things, now IT is on, blogging. You can blog, put up a story there. Through your blogging, you're advertising people's products. Am I not telling the truth? Yeah. Yes, even your Facebook, your Instagram, all those things. You can advertise for, for, for people on your own page and you get paid. So keep on doing the good things and money will come. You can also do Uber if you're a guy. Uber is there. You have your own private car. Is that not Yankee? Yeah, yeah. You I can do, use I, it. I do taxi. Is it? I do taxi sometimes. Okay. You can do what? Make use of it. You can fry a car, all those things, evening, evening food. You can make use of all those things. All these things I'm mentioning is one thing or the other you can do. And from this, God will bless us. Find something to do with your hand. Business is an activity. You must be active in doing one thing or the other. And God will bless you. Amen.